then at that particular time, you may withdraw. Senator, Senator Fernande. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As the champion of plenary proceedings under that schedule of the standing orders, I am one of the happiest men, Mr. Speaker. Finally, I have been vindicated in many fronts, even including broad-based issues, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I want to agree, when you look at that schedule, the formation either by plenary of impeachment of a governor at page 216 of the standing orders or by committee, it is almost the same. In fact, when you look word by word, but we are now subsuming ourselves into a quasi-judicial mechanism, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, all of us will assume the role of being a judge. And therefore, it is important so that all of us can learn. Mr. Speaker, under Article 118 of the Constitution, there is what we call public participation or parliamentary proceedings. When we go for plenary, the people of Meru, the governor, the MCS, Kenyans at large will be able to watch the proceedings in an open and transparent manner. I am not casting aspersions on the proceedings of the committees. It is supposed to be open, Mr. Speaker. It is supposed to be open and it is open as per Article 118 of the Constitution 2010, Mr. Speaker. But to avoid being salamiwad by the GNC, Mr. Speaker, it is better nowadays to put things on the open. Because committees sometimes in the nature, Mr. Speaker, can sometimes escape the attention of the public, Mr. Speaker. I agree, Mr. Speaker, the issues of Meru are very unique, complex, and diverse, Mr. Speaker. We cannot new over under Article 192 on suspension of county of Meru. Meru is working. Some parts of Meru are not working, Mr. Speaker. And I want to remind the deputy party leader of ODM, and I want to advise the secretary general of ODM to organize an induction at Kenya School of Government the way Akinajo and the rest have been done for the last two weeks, so that he understands, Mr. Speaker, we don't have a functional IEBC at the moment, Mr. Speaker. The NADCO report, the amendments of IEBC, we are still considering, Mr. Speaker. So the, the suspension under Article 192, we should not envisage because we have opportunity to listen, Mr. Speaker, to be able to ventilate through and be able to have a chance. Mr. Speaker, I want to tell the committee members who are proposed, we love you. But plenary love does most. So we wish you well and we'll appoint you. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I oppose the motion. Senator Kibwana.